The Story Behind a Pendant, Chapter 4 After the beauty contest, Archana became more confident and had a lot of admirers on campus. She was one of the executive members of the Student Medical Club. She participated in more extracurricular activities and was also responsible for the student records. One day, while she was collecting details of previous Student Medical Club members, she came across a photo that looked exactly like the lady in the pendant. She had a pen around her neck ever since she got it from her father. She had no idea who the lady was or how she could find her. She decided to seek the help of the librarian who might have some information about the alumni of the college. She approached the librarian's desk and greeted her with a smile. She showed her the photo of Anne Smith and asked, Hello, Mrs. William. Do you recognize this lady? The librarian looked at the photo and smiled back. Oh, yes, I remember her well. She was one of the star students of the college. She was also very kind and friendly to everyone. She spoke. Really? What did she study? Archana asked. She studied medicine just like you. She was very passionate and talented in her field, the librarian said. Wow, this is amazing. Do you know where she is? Do you have her contacts? Archana asked. The librarian paused for a moment and said, No, I'm afraid no. She graduated in 1999 and left the college. She was from California and we never heard from her again, she spoke. Achana felt a pang of sadness and disappointment. She wondered why Aunt Smith had disappeared so suddenly and if she had any family or friends who missed her. She thanked the librarian for her help and returned to her seat with the photo. Dr. Ram Sharma, a guest professor at the college, happened to watch the video of the contest while he visited the college website. He just watched the video randomly and was shocked by what he saw. He saw a young woman who looked exactly like his wife Anne, except for her darker skin tone and hair color. He wondered who she would be and if there was any chance that she would be his daughter Ashley, whom he had lost in the wildfire in India. He recalled the trip when he and his wife Anne Smith had gone to India for a research project on Ayurveda with their team. They had taken their daughter Ashley with them, who was two years old at that time. They had stayed in a village near a forest where they had collected some medicinal herbs. One night, a fire broke out in the forest and spread rapidly to the village. Ram and Anne managed to escape with their team, but they lost sight of Ashley in the chaos. They searched for her desperately, but they could not find her anywhere either. They assumed that she had perished in the flames. They returned to America with broken hearts and tried to move on with their lives. But Anne fell into depression and went to England to visit her grandparents. Gradually, she got normal but refused to return to the USA. She became a professional medical practitioner in the UK. They always thought of their daughter Ashley, who would have been 20 years old now. Dr. Ram decided to find out the truth. He went to the library where Archana was reading some medical journals. He introduced himself to her, complimented her on winning the beauty contest, and started a conversation with her. He asked her about the journal she was reading and discussed and clarified her doubts on the topic. Hi, I'm Ram Sharma, a guest professor at this college. I teach Ayurveda and alternative medicine, he spoke. Hello, professor. I'm Archana Krishnan, a third year medical student. It's nice to meet you, she said. I saw your video on the website. You were amazing in the beauty contest. Congratulations on winning. He said, thank you very much. It was an unexpected but pleasant surprise, she said. I'm curious about what you are reading. Is it related to your studies? He asked. Yes, it is. It's a journal on herbal medicine and its applications, she said. 
That's very interesting. I have some experience in that field myself, he said. Really? Can you tell me more about it? She asked. He started to explain some concepts and examples of herbal medicine to her, using simple and clear language. He also answered her questions and corrected her mistakes with patience and kindness. Archana was impressed by his knowledge and helpfulness. She felt a sense of familiarity and comfort with him as if he was someone she had known for a long time. He started to meet her in the library quite often and became friends with her. Archana developed a bond and trust with Dr. Rao. She began mm -hmm. to discuss her doubts and ideas with him. Derek Wills, a prominent student and the president of the Student Medical Club, had a crush on Archana and used to follow her without her awareness. He was one of the favorite students and disciples of Dr. Ram Sharma. He noticed Dr. Ram Sharma's and Archana's regular meetings at the library and felt curious about Dr. Ram Sharma's special consideration and interest in Archana. He decided to follow him secretly and find out what he was up to. Dr. Ram Sharma noticed the pendant around her neck, which was identical to the one that his daughter wore when he was separated from her. He wondered how Archana had got the pendant, what it meant to her. He decided to do a DNA test to confirm his paternity before disclosing the truth to her. He wanted to be sure that she was ready and willing to hear it. He secretly collected a strand of hair from Archana while a student rushed by and collided with her, which diverted her attention. He sent it to a lab for analysis and waited anxiously for the results, hoping that it would prove his intuition. Derek Wills noticed Ram Sharma collecting Archana's hair and keeping it safely in a transparent plastic bag. He felt curious and wondered what he was doing with it followed him and watched him going straight to a lab and giving it for a DNA test. He decided to hack into the lab's database and find out the results of the DNA test. He was shocked to discover that Ram Sharma was Archana's biological father. He wondered how that was possible and what it meant for Archana. Meanwhile, Archana continued to search for more information about the lady in the pendant whom she believed to be her mother. She used the web to search and find more about Ansman, who had graduated from the college in 1999. She hoped that she would find some clues or leads that would help her solve the puzzle, but was in vain. She approached one of the senior professors, Dr. Ben Ritchie, and inquired about Ann Smith as she was collecting the details about the previous executives of the Student Medical Club. He looked at the photo and smiled back. He said, Oh yes, she was one of my favorite students at the college. She was a prominent medical student and a researcher in Ayurveda. She had a passion for finding natural cures for various diseases. He paused and added, but she left the college after graduation and we never heard from her again. Though I remember there was a team of students who were researching Ayurvedic medicine. One of her fellow researchers was Dr. John Evan, a well-known medical professional in the USC. She collected the contact details of John Evan and sent an email mentioning who she was and why she contacted him, asking him if he knew any recent details about Ansman. She felt that she was getting closer to solving the mystery of her identity and her age. She hoped that she would find some answers soon. Days passed by, but she did not get any reply. A couple of weeks later, she got an email from Dr. John Evan, stating that he wanted to meet her. He claimed that he was in love with her mother and that he had some important information to share with her. He asked her to meet him at a secluded address and warned her not to tell anyone about their meeting, as it could be dangerous for her life. Archana felt a mix of curiosity, excitement, and fear. Still, she wondered what Dr. John Evan had to tell her about her mother. She also wondered why he wanted to meet her in secret and why it was dangerous. She felt suspicious, though decided to take the risk and meet him at the given address. Thank you.